What's up? Sammy the Thrifty Brewer here, and who? Hello. It's Dan from Taylor Brewin. Dan was kind enough to come on up this past Friday night. So we had a little bit of a late night last night around the campfire. It happens. Used some little accelerants and made a nice big fire, and we're up to the wee hours of the morning. So now what are we doing? We're brewing. He was kind enough to bring up some two row and some USO5. We're going to do a nice little simple pale ale today. And a couple weeks ago, I did some brewery improvements. And right now, I decided to record it because when I did it and did a brew day afterwards, I didn't record it. And you guys were asking, how's it look? Well, this is how she's looking. So we got the water sitting at strike temperature. And we're pulling off the bottom of the HLT, which will then be turned into the boil kettle, into the pump. Outflow out of the pump into the top of the turkey roaster of doom and actually it's working Pretty darn good. Hope you guys can see that there Thank you Dan So we're just sitting trying to sit a little bit above the grain bed about an inch above the grain bed fill it up with some water and sparging away and we're matching our flow in the bottom with this and uh, Tony, uh, Tony Yates, the man, the Zen master of my fitness pal, the Yoda of brewing, suggested that I add a, um, a hose on the outflow of the cooler, which I did. And it's working a treat. Now, the other thing you suggested was uh, flipping the pump around so the inflow was on the bottom. But unfortunately, the silicone hose I have isn't long enough. So I'm gonna order up some new silicone hose and make sure that I can do that and have the pump twisted sideways. So right now we're just sparging and we're collecting as we go. Um, first runnings were 1070 and we're shooting for pre-boil gravity of 1030, 1038 pre-boil. So hopefully we get the numbers right. But yeah, so far working like a effing treat Let's see what happens we'll come back and we got the boil going on uh, with some numbers but yeah I mean this is working really really good one thing Dan suggested actually though was to um, because we've got these lovely little valleys and peaks in the middle of the of the pan is maybe leaving this all solid and just having some holes around the outside to increase the the disbursement of the water which I think we may just try. And for for three bucks, we'll give her a shot. So anyways, we're gonna have another pint. Right, Dan? I'm already doing it. Oh, yeah. Because these pretzels are making us what? Thirsty. Thirsty, because it's gonna be hot. Hot when you get in the boil. Hot, hot like a hot tub. Anyways, Sammy Thrifty Brewer, he's out for now, but we'll be back when we got the boil going on and with some final numbers after the sparge, that is. Cheers, you guys, back in a bit. Cheers, thanks for watching. <laughs> hey guys. So yeah, sparge is done. Worked a friggin' treat. Ended off at uh, 1039 at 29 liters. We were shooting for 1038 at 29 liters. Seemed to be working out well. The one thing I did do differently this time though is actually um, beforehand what I did, I did more of a traditional batch sparge where I would drain all the uh, wort out of the mash tun and then start my fly sparge and then let it slowly trickle out. This time I started the outflow on the bottom of the mash tun and added my sparge water slowly over to the top. Don't know if that had an effect or not, but it worked. Okay, so now we're gonna crank on the heat, add our hoppage, have a beverage, pick up the wee becks from her friend's house, maybe after I'll have a beverage when I do that. You guys, it's happened. So we're back, well into the boil now. Uh, first hops are in. Got about another 13 minutes. 13 minutes? 13 minutes before the second hop edition. Which is going to be uh, 14 grams of Galaxy with half a Warflock tablet. And then after that, five minute edition is going to be another 14 grams of Galaxy. And then we are going to dry hop this turd with the 31 grams of Centennial that I harvested this year off my one hop plant. So, super, super stoked. Did, chose not to do a 
fresh off here because <coughs> I don't believe there was simply enough, but that's okay. So yeah, classic, classic, Thrifty Brewer Brew Day, laid back and relaxed. Numbers were over what I expected, which is awesome, which means that the Turkey Roaster Pan of Doom is working. I think it may have finally dialed in the, um, the grain mill, did a nice long slow mash, and then did a nice long slow sparge. It's all good. All good. Hey guys, we're chilling. So I got the old immersion chiller in there. Things are uh, cooling down nicely. Now, one of the other brewery improvements I made is I used to carry the completed wort all the way across the basement here into the sink way over there roughly like about 25 30 feet 25 feet we'll say nothing like you know playing the dodgeball game carrying a big huge hot pot of boiling wort or it's about 100 degrees celsius over there to a sink to chill down so what i did went to the home depot picked up 75 feet of garden hose for like 20 bucks and did this now if you guys are going to do this got to be careful the stuff isn't really rated that much for heat um, but this is the second time I've done this and it seems to be working okay what I may do though I may add uh, get some heat resistant tubing <coughs> and add some quick disconnects to it and go from there because the garden hose runs all the way there through the basement into the laundry room into the sink and it works really really well now I could obviously trim it down but I just haven't gotten around to it yet and maybe add a quick disconnect to the sink as well because this is a bit of a pain in the arse but I can tell you what I will take a slight pain in the arse careful careful family rated show I will take a slight pain in the arse any day over carrying 23 odd liters of 100 degree wort over there. So yeah, that's how she looks. It's working up a treat. It's got a good flow. You know what we're gonna do after this? We're gonna roll pull and we will uh, go from there. So some of you guys may be asking, Sammy, where did Dan go? Yeah, let's go see if we can find him. <laughs> Shh, gotta be quiet. I think the wee angel is sleeping. He's had a long day. Long day. Broom. Hey guys, so it chilled down. Now what we're doing is we're just giving it a bit of a whirlpool. Now, I haven't added the whirlpool fitting yet. So what I've done is I've just got the outflow of the pump cranked wide open and got the outflow dialed right back and just got a nice little gentle, even little whirlpool going. Just crane it open just a hair more. Go to the air. Reduce the turbidity. And just sort of see how we do. Just running it like this. Okay. So I still have some work to do with the wor with the whirlpool because it didn't do squat. I ran that for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Actually probably closer to a half an hour and all I did really was just recirculate everything through the pump so I said you know what forget doesn't really matter um, we're draining now into the carboy final volume is going to be hard to predict because I know this carboys will hold this carboy will hold 25 liters I've never measured it out I'm going to assume we got 23 liters ended up at 
Um, ended up at 10.44. I was shooting for 10.46. So two tenths shy of my final gravity. But I tell you what, nice, easy peasy, relaxing brew day with Dan from Taylor Brewing. It's awesome. Awesome. It's so great when the family can just come up on the motorbikes for a weekend. Because he's only two hours away, which is great. So we've got a nice little aeration happening on, happening here. And like I said, I don't really care about how truly clear it is um, because it's all going to settle out in the end. We will uh, pitch this with some USO5. I'm going to go from there. Okay, one more thing. You know how I was thinking it was about 23 liters? Way off. Look at that. That's friggin' 25. Easily. So I've already attached a blow-off tube because with USO5, it is going to be one angry-ass fermentation. Anyways, brew day is done. Time to give a quick cleanup and throw some meat on the barbecue. Or has our good friends in Australia say, meat, barbie, shrimp. I won't destroy it by pretending to do an accent. Anyways, you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Cheers. All the best. Please be safe. Be sure to like, subscribe, thumb up the video. Subscribe button is down below. Woo! We are done for the day. And thanks for coming along for the ride. Cheers, you guys. Thanks so much. Cheers. All the best. Please be safe. Take care.